Hi, I'm Karina and I'm a third year forensic anthropology student here, as well as a senior student in Masters. I'll be giving you a campus tour today. We are really lucky to have a compact city campus, so everything on campus is within walking distance, but we're also really close to the centre of the city, so bars, restaurants and everything else is all within walking distance. We start here at the Global Room, which is a great place on campus where you'll find a lot of students because there's free tea and coffee, but it also holds the International Advice Service. Then you've also got Carnelli, home to the School of Life Sciences, and the Old Medical School, which holds education and social work. Over here you have the OTI, which has many support services like funding, disabilities and counselling. This is the School of Business. It holds business, finance, economics and accounting and it's one of the oldest buildings on campus. This is the Career Centre. They hold CV drop-ins and interview practices as well as help you find jobs and internships for the summer and beyond. You also find the Academic Skills Centre here, so they'll help with everything from getting in a good study habit to writing a good essay um, and making sure you're studying for your exam. So this is my favourite place on campus, the Getty Squad Jungle. It's really close to the library, so it's a great place to come and relax after you've spent a whole day studying. All of our, our grounds are maintained by the Botanical Gardens and students get free entry, so it's a great place to go and spend an afternoon. Um, it's just a quick trip down the road. The quadrangle is bordered by Harris, which is physics and electrical engineering, and then you've got Carnegie, which is water law, policy and science. This is Ewing, which is one of the buildings for the School of Science and Engineering. This is the main library. It's one of four libraries here at the university. It's got lots of great spaces for studying, as well as bookable meeting rooms. Inside there are lockers and free hot water taps, so you don't spend a lot of money on tea and coffee when the library is 24 hours during exam periods. You've also got um, IT support as well as printing facilities and there's also a cafe. So Campus Green is the heart of our city centre campus. Everything on campus is within five minutes of where I'm standing just now but you'll get things like freshers fair and sports fair happening on the green itself. It's bordered by the inquiry centre, so any questions you can have about anything at uni or on campus, that's supposed to go and get them answered. Behind the inquiry centre is DUSA, which is our student union. So DUSA is run for the students, by the students, and they overlook all the bars, clubs, uh, restaurants, cafes, and hangout spaces within the union itself, as well as over 200 student-run activities and societies. On the other side, you've got Queen Mother, which is home to the School of Computing. And you've also got Belmont, which is one of our on-campus accommodations. So this is Matthew and Crawford, both of these make up CJ CADs and architecture, so that's our School of Art and Design. At the end of the four years, all of the fourth years put on a degree show, and the school becomes Scotland's largest gallery, which is really fun to go and see with your friends. This is Life Sciences Research Centre. It's home to many things of drug discovery as well as pioneering research in areas like cancer and malaria drugs.
This is the ISE or the Institute of Sports and Exercise. They have lots of state-of-the-art facilities as well as exercise classes and they also overlook the tennis courts and the swimming pool that's in the union. The sports union is also run out of here and they look over 40 sports teams at the university. This is one of our emergency points on campus. So there's 24 hour campus security and if you're in an emergency you just push this button and someone will come see you as quickly as possible. This is Heathfield, which is one of our on-campus accommodations, as well as Belmont and Belmont Towers. Then we have Seabrays and West Park off-campus. All accommodation at Dundee is ensuite and self-catered, and you share a kitchen with six to eight people. The flats are really secure. You have a key to your front door, the front door of your flat and your bedroom, and they're built around lovely green areas as well. Dalhousie is a multifunctional building, but it holds four lecture theatres, five IT suites, and tons of rooms for workshops and seminars. Every discipline uses this building, so you're bound to have a class here at some point. This is Fulton. It's the main building for the School of Science and Engineering. It holds a fluids lab, centrifuge, a concrete slab, and even a soil lab, uh, as well as a lot of IT suites. The Dundee Dental School is a live dental hospital as well as being a dental school. So there are lots of interesting research projects here happening in collaboration with the NHS and even with the World Health Organization. Scrimgeour is home to the School of Social Sciences. This includes disciplines like law and psychology. So inside there's a great student lounge, as well as a meeting court for law and research facilities for psychology. So Tower is our last stop. It's home to the university's main reception, as well as the School of Humanities, IT suites and lots of office administration for the university. It's right on Perth Road, so a quick walk that way will take you down to our West End, which is full of bars, shops and cafes. And if you head in the other direction, you're right in our city centre in a few moments. Thanks so much for coming with me along this campus tour on this great day.